Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nintendork here, and welcome back to more Mega Man. In the last episode, we went through, I believe, Cutman and Electman, and now we're going to go through Iceman and hopefully Fireman if I don't take too long. Now, Iceman is kind of a difficult stage, I'm not going to lie, um, because not only do we have Mega Man's like worst physics in this, in this stage, but... The stage is also ice themed, so obviously, you know, ice physics, which kind of sucks. You know, every gamer out there hates ice physics. So yeah, it's not ideal. Here we have the introduction of water. Now, unlike the entire rest of the series, in this game, it makes your jump go less high instead of in every other game where it makes you jump like you're on the moon. So, kind of jarring. And Woo! That's very lucky, actually. Thank you, game. And um, if you beat a stage, um, all your energies were filled to max, so you don't need to um, wanker around trying to refill it. Um, same thing, like I said, when you get a game over, it's refilled. However, um, that part about it being refilled, whenever you uh, uh, beat a stage, that does not go true for the... Whoa, dang! Thanks, game! Man. I didn't do anything special to the game, I just... Man, that that's pretty nice of it. Thank you. Oh, shoot. Alright. Kinda wanna kill this little barnacle thing, but it's not letting me come on. Sorry, barnacle man. Barnacle man. Uh shoot, yeah, we got the pen pending. Invisible disappearing blocks for that Capcom loves to use. There we go. And boom, yeah. Uh, basically, you just gotta learn the puzzle for them and... Oh gosh, I don't wanna deal with you. Come on. Shoot. I wanna take care of this guy. Ah, dang it. There we go. Shoot. I was hoping that would work. Shoot. Eh. You just use the magnet beam to get through it. Yeah. Now this section is legitimately balls here. Uh, you have to get on these platforms that are shooting from side to side. Uh, if you get sh if you get hit, they knock you off, obviously, because knockback in Mega Man games is really bad. So, yeah. If you want, you can use the Magnet Beam, but I kind of find it to be more hurtful than helpful in this section, but, you know, sometimes it can be useful, especially if you can get high ground and do it, but sometimes it's really just not worth it, even though I'm kind of, kind of, like, abusing it right now. Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> Usually when I use the Magnet Beam, it um, ends up, like, glitching out and then, like, I end up falling to the abyss anyway, and I find it just easier to use the blocks, but oh, I guess not this time. Uh, yeah, I'll refill Magda Beam, why not? Yeah, that's another thing. Um, if, whenever you find weapon energy, you don't want to just grab it willy-nilly, especially if you're um, still on your Mega Buster, because your Mega Buster obviously doesn't have any energy that needs to be... Oh, shoot. Uh, ah, crap. Those guys always take so much damage, and they take so many hits to kill, too, so it's not like you can... Now, thankfully, Iceman is not really that... Fuck <laughs> moonwalking! Alright, so just kind of, like, inch forward and then just keep shooting, because then... Usually these guys would, like, do, like, Medusa heads, horse heads from Zelda 2 patterns on you, but if you just slowly slip forward and keep shooting, they won't hurt you at all. 
Now Iceman is super weak to the Elect Beam and also shoots in a very simple the dodge pattern, really. Like, come on. Really? That's your pattern, dude? Easy. God, you do want to be careful though, because even if you kill the Robot Master, they still can kill you if they have any um, projectiles going on the screen <laughs> whenever you do end up defeating them. So just be very wary of that. And I guess it's high time to do the final Robot Master. Wow, this is really not taking me too long, which I don't want to jinx it because the hard part is yet to come. And here we have Fireman's level. Um, there's a bunch of Fire Geysers here that you can freeze with the Ice Beam if you really wanted to, but... Um, I don't really find it all that necessary. This level is not too bad from what I remember. There's just a bunch of areas where you can get knocked back into the lava, which is kind of annoying, but... Yeah, as long as you're patient, which, knowing me, I'm terrible at that stuff, you know. I'm a very impatient person. If you know me in real life, you know. Okay. Sounded like I was constipated there. Oh, come on, really? Alright, yeah, there's these things. You can freeze them if you really need to, but I, don't, I never found it necessary to. Although later in the game it will be necessary to do that. Music in here is pretty awesome though. I re I love the soundtrack in these games, dude. They're so good. Uh, you want to be careful with these things because, yeah, knock back into the abyss. It's never fun. They also do quite a bit of damage too as well. Now there's these. And those are going to fall back down. Yep. As long as they're falling back down, though, wherever they came from won't spew out more fireballs, which is nice. Shoot! That's bad. And we thankfully spawned right at the screen where we died because that was... That so happened to just be the checkpoint, so that's nice. I believe that it is dependent on where you're standing currently where they're going to spawn, which is kind of nice to know, but also kind of hell. I get it, because we're in a fire area. Go away. And now here comes a really um, difficult to dodge section because these things go really fast. But what I like to do is just get the magnet beam here and then just pew. Very, very, very nice. And you want to be careful with those bullet bill looking things because you can't jump on them like in Super Mario Brothers. But if you do end up shooting them, they do have a, a radius that they still do damage in, so you want to be careful with that. And stupid barnacle things as well. For, I forget that I have still two lives just because I got lucky with the drops in, in Iceman stage, which is pretty nice. Oh, shoot. And I was kind of hoping that would be uh, a life canister. Oh, by the way, when you're when you're on any type of ladder in the game, or in any Mega Man game, this goes for every single one on the NES at least, um, if you're switching weapons, be very, very careful because... Oh, shoot. Just go through the door. All right. Be very careful because... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to use the ice weapon. That sucks. Okay, if I can finish the sentence... Um, you will start to fall if you switch weapons mid-ladder uh, mid climb, and in most cases that will instantly kill you since you're probably climbing away from like a bottomless pit or something. So it's really not great. And now time for what I consider the most difficult um, robot master in the game is Fireman. He has this really erratic pattern that is really difficult to dodge. The only reason why I didn't start using Iceman there because I wanted to save my weapon energy for when I encountered him with full health, but unfortunately I can't do that because these guys are really, really good at shooting me for some reason. Okay, you want to just stand in the perfect position. Okay, there we go. Just do another one. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have... Oh crap, oh my god. Actually, it doesn't waste that much energy per shot. Alright, 
Now, thankfully, it, from what I remember, he doesn't jump too much, so it's not like he's going to be dodging your attacks, but you can see how erratic his pattern is, and it's really difficult to dodge. And that gets to be really hard because later on in the game. But for now, you know. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time on Mega Man, we're going to face off with Dr. Wily. See you guys next time.